with a piece of sensation, begin making a ball. Make balls of few sizes. Make very small balls. Make bigger ones. Practice this balling as many times as possible. From this ball shape, let's roll a sausage. From this ball shape, let's make a teardrop. From this ball shape, let's make an egg. From this ball shape, let's make a cube or a box. From this ball shape, let's press into a disc. From this ball shape, let's roll a string. Here we got a string. With this string, we can coil, coil the string up. Or we can twist the string. Let's flatten the string and make a long flat piece, which could be useful for many modeling shapes. We got a long flat piece. Experience pinching your piece of sensation like this. This could be a useful technique for modeling few types of shapes. See, you're pinching the ball. Feel folding, the sen sensation, folding. Poke it. To get impressions. Tear small pieces out which you may need in your modeling skill. Learn to tear small pieces out. Poke it. Useful to make eyes or nose or even your ears. Learn to poke it. Rub it with some water to make it smooth. Use the back of a spoon to cut it.
use a bag or a spoon or other hard pieces to cut it. Learn to join two pieces together. Learn to join two pieces together. Make a depression. Okay, such ends the experiences with sensation, modeling experiences with sensation. And from here onwards, you can practice them and then use it to model your crafts. Thank you. And signing off, Grandpa, I do it. Bye.